have here is in a trial of 100 patients who received 10 milligram doses of a drug daily, 36 reported headaches as a side effect. Use the information below to calculate a bunch of different things. So we want to know our P hat value for the proportion of 100 people that use the 10 milligram doses of the drug daily and reported headache as a side effect. All you do is you take the number reported out of the total number of patients. So in this case, 36 divided by 100, which is 0.36. So verify that the confidence interval requirements for constructing confidence P are satisfied. Uh, it just needs to be greater than 10. So if we took 100, which is the number of trial patients times the ratio 0.36 times one minus 0.36, we end up with 23.04 which is greater than 10. So yes, the requirements are met and the confidence interval are set satisfied. So construct a 90% confidence interval for uh, the population proportion of patients who receive the drug and report headaches as a side effect. So what we have here is our, so for um, 90%, it's gonna be, well, it's, it's the one minus 0.9 divided by two which is 0.05. So right here is our value 1.645. That's our critical value. And what we do here is we take 0.36 and where this is the lower bound minus 1.645 times the square root of 0.36, which is P hat minus one minus P hat, which is one minus 0.36 divided by hundred. And that's all under the radical. And we get the lower bound, we have 0.2. 281 th round to three decimal places rounds to 0.281 and oops and our upper bound is going to be adding everything with 1.6445 times under the radical and we round to three decimal places we get 0.439 uh, we are 90 percent confident that the interval contains the true value p so that's that's what the statement is there. So anyway, I hope that helped you out. Thanks for watching and you have a great day.